Are you struggling with organizing your home as a beginner? Here's how you can be better at it instantly and it only takes one change. I'm gonna give you eight reasons why you should declutter before organizing your home. Now, the first reason as to why you declutter before you organize is you do not wanna waste time organizing things you should have already decluttered. It's already hard enough to get yourself prepared and ready to organize your room or your house or whatever you're trying to organize. And you finally get there and you go through the whole process of putting everything in order, putting it in the right place. And you get done and you're like, I am finished, complete. I don't have anything else to do. And then you look into a corner or on a shelf and you say, hmm, that's something I don't really need anymore. Or that's something I really need to throw away. Or that's something I didn't know I had. And now I just need to get rid of it. And then once you start doing that, now you have to take that thing out and declutter it. And then now you have to figure out, okay, how do I want to organize that area again? Do I want to move things around? I have more space there now. And if I don't put something there, then it just looks like a random space that needs something there. And so you got to go through all that whole process again. And then just think about that. If you organize and then you decide that, hey, I should declutter multiple things. Now you really have an issue of going back and organizing again and figuring out where all that stuff goes. So essentially you're preventing yourself from having to do double work. And that's a good thing. The next reason as to why you should declutter before you organize is that you don't want to buy stuff that you don't need. If you just go ahead, organize, don't declutter, you're going to buy a lot of stuff because you think you need it to organize your house or apartment or room or whatever. And yes, you're going to get everything home and you're going to look at everything that you need to organize and you're going to say, okay, I have everything I actually need to finish this out. But once you declutter and then you look at all the stuff that you bought for organization, you're going to realize that you have more stuff than you actually need that you just bought over the amount that you needed to do all your organizing. And so then you're going to have to figure out, okay, how do I send this stuff back? Is it past the time to send it back? Have I already put it in a place where I don't want to go and then move it? because it's in this one spot that looks really cool or you just keep it and it becomes clutter somewhere in your house. And so when you declutter before you organize that you know exactly how much stuff you need to accomplish organizing your home instead of buying a lot of stuff that you just don't need at all. And here's another great reason to declutter before organizing is that if you do this, you're gonna have less stuff that you have to organize have less items it makes it simpler it makes it easier it makes it faster because you've done a lot of pre-work so all you're doing now is taking those items you do have left to organize and just finding places for those just finding how to put those items in order so that you feel good about when you walk in a room they look organized and neat for you and when you have adhd if you can find a way to make something simpler faster and easier that is a triple win And that is why this is so important. And here is something that you might think of doing. You might say, hey, it's cool. I'm going to put everything in the storage unit and then figure it out later. The only issue with that is first, everything in your storage unit might become clutter for you because you won't remember what you put in there. And two, a storage unit costs money. And so now you're spending money to store things that you could have thrown away or you could have gotten rid of or given to someone else. And it's just going to cost you money each month, maybe year over year until you decide to go and clean out the storage unit. And then you're going to have to go through and declutter it anyway. So go ahead and get rid of those items so you don't want to put them in this storage unit. And something else about decluttering before organizing is that you have more space for the stuff you actually want to keep and actually need. Why are you going to find a place in your apartment or house or home? or something that you need to declutter or throw away and now it's taken to that space. And also look, homes don't have unlimited space. You wanna take advantage of all the space you have for the stuff you actually want and not have some random stuff in there that you know you should have gotten rid of before. And something else to think about, when you have all this stuff in there that you really don't need, then clutter hides itself. It can be somewhere in the random stuff that you have in your house or apartment and you just won't even know that it's there until you go through and try to declutter and then you realize you have so much stuff 
that you could have gotten rid of, but you just didn't see it. You walked past it every day, didn't see it until you start going through the process. And another great reason kind of related to that is that when you have decluttered before you organize, then you find stuff that you have forgotten that you think about, but you don't realize you still have it and you haven't seen it. And then you find it and then you realize I've been looking for this or I really needed this or this goes to this other thing that I have, but it was buried in clutter or behind something and you didn't know. Now, once you have decluttered, then you realize, hey, I have all this stuff that I don't need now that's gone. And now I can just organize the things that I have found that I need or that are useful. And sometimes it does work out that you find that thing and then you realize it goes to that thing that you've been mean to fix or that you've been mean to kind of put together and there's this one piece and you've now found it. And something else really awesome about decluttering before organizing is that since you have less stuff, once you're done, you have less stuff that you have to clean. And so that is a really good thing because sometimes you might look and say, I have all the stuff that to go through and dust and move and move around and all this kind of stuff. But if you have less stuff, you don't have to do that to as many things. You still have to clean, but it's not going to take you as long. You don't have as much that you have to go through and go to this place and go to that place to make sure everything is good to go. And I think this is really important when you have ADHD because now you know the task that you originally did is not going to take as long. And now if you are enjoying this content, go ahead and click the subscribe button for me. Now the next reason that is awesome about decluttering before organizing is that it reduces frustration when you actually do this because of the fact that you have less stuff that you are going to declutter. You walk into a room and if it's super cluttered, you just don't feel comfortable. You look at all that stuff you have to get rid of or you have to organize and that just makes it kind of frustrating for you. When you have less stuff, it's going to reduce the amount of frustration that you have when you're trying to organize because now you can kind of see things better. You can see the places you want to put things better. So when all those things combined come together, you can relax a little bit more and you're not as stressed when you're trying to clean up, when you're trying to organize your home. And since you are a beginner, here's another video that I think you will enjoy. It is about one minute home organization. Everything in that video are things you can use to organize your home in one minute or less.